y'all already know it's called trapped in a closet trapped in a closet so let me go on and get y'all a tea on this story uh like and subscribe because i don't know what's so hard about that stop playing with me y'all know i'm not the one don't stop trying me okay hit like and subscribe okay so look this story right here so I used to work for the school, right? So I used to always run uh, um, at the school program, right? So what I would do is I work for a place called Care Housing, right? And what Care Housing would do is contract us to like low income apartments or, you know, like apartments in the hood and we will run the um, activity center downstairs every day, Monday through Friday. So my home girl, she, she rest in love, Sherry, I love her to death. She got me this job, right? So she gave me the job. I ended up loving the job, but at this time, my first job, they had me working in the main streets, right, off of Broadway. So, they had me in the main streets working, and it was cool. I love working there. It was like everything, you know what I'm talking about? The kids was cool, all the young boys, everybody was cool. You know what I'm talking about? I met some really good people in that building. Like, I met some good people, you know what I'm talking about? Like, some real good people. And I had a ball working there, but then I got switched to the building and the Athens, right? So I get switched. And when I get switched to the Athens, because I was such a good teacher, I had two buildings. So I literally was dealing with like 70 kids by myself every day, right? So every day the kids, you know how kids is. Kids come telling. So once they got comfortable with me, I used to have cooking class, right? So I used to do a cooking class where... I would bring, like, my hot plate and all my stuff and make tacos for them and different stuff. And the reason why I started having cooking class because you know how kids is. They still are telling their parents' business. So I noticed a few of them wasn't eating like that. And plus, I used to walk the kids to their apartment when they, um, when it was time for them to go home. Because, I, you know, it'd be like 6 o'clock program over at 6. It used to be dark. And then some of the kids had to go across the street. And then some of the kids would be looking all sad. And I'd be like, why you don't want to go home? They'd be like, I don't even know if my mama's here. Like, girl, I'm. how you know I came to work today? How you know the program was open? Like, why are you leaving just because you feel I'm watching your child? Girl, you can't be doing that. The program over at 6, bitch, I'm trying to be gone by 6.05. Like, girl. No, like, as I'm walking out the door and walking the kids this way, I am going downstairs to go across the street, get in my car. After I walk them, you feel me? Y'all in the door? All right, all right. Yeah, like that. So, it was one particular lady. You still always give me attitude. So, you know, one day I told her straight up, I said, you know what? Your daughter can't come to the program no more. I said, because if I got to deal with you and your attitude, this, I ain't dealing with it. I'm Gucci. I said, so you can take your child and you can go because for some reason, like, she used to have an attitude. I walked her to the door. Girl, I don't give a fuck about what's going on in your home. I care about these kids to make sure they get their ass in the house, to make sure when they left me, I saw them walk in the door. Girl, you're not about to play with me. I don't care about you, your nigga, and nothing you got going on up in this thing. You understand? So, one day my cousin called me. She like, what you doing? I'm like, oh, I'm at work. She like, okay, what you doing at the work? We gonna go to a function. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. She say, um, one of the girls in my class told me about this party or whatever. I'm like, oh, okay, because at this time, Kanani was in nursing school, right? So we go to this function or whatever. We go, we have a good time. But when we in a function, I see the girl mama. So I'm in, I'm in a function with like a low key attitude because I want her to give me some attitude because now I'm out at work because. If y'all just would understand how this lady, like, I literally would come to her door. And she'd be like, dang, you'd have to walk her here. I'd be like, girl, whatever. And i walk away. Because, like, girl, I'm only trying to make sure your daughter get here. I don't care about what you got going on in your home. Fuck you and them roaches. You understand? I don't care what you got going on over here. 
So I see her. And you know how people do when they get liquor in them. They always want to talk. I don't want to talk. What we talking about? You understand? We ain't got nothing to talk about. Because if you don't want to fight at this point, I ain't got nothing to say because I am ignorant like that. Because at this point, I feel disrespected. I feel like, bitch, you try me. And I done already kicked your daughter out the program. So it ain't nothing because I don't have to deal with no unruly student or no unruly parent. Your parents can get you put out the program. We don't have to deal with that. So she was like, can I talk to you? I was like, hell no. She was like, oh, really? I said, yeah, oh, really? Like I said, I ain't at work right now. We ain't got nothing to talk about. Oh, okay. So she walked over there with her people. So I guess she's telling her people like, yeah, that's her, whatever, whatever. So her sister walked over there and was like, um, can I talk to you for a minute? I'm like, what the fuck you want to talk about? She like, can you calm down? No, I can't calm down. What's the deal? Your sister always turned up on me while I'm at work where I get paid at. Now I'm at a function. What's the deal? She like, can we just step outside? We surely can. Let's go. So we go outside. Kanani like, hold on. One thing about Kanani. She a square, but she go squabble. She go squabble. We, we don't turn down nothing. We don't turn down nothing. She might be the square, but she go take off on you. So she like, what's going on? I'm like, I got this. She like, no, my sister do be tripping. I totally understand. She like, but my niece, she love you. She love being in your program. She cried when her mama got her put out. I'm not taking up for my sister because she out of pocket. I ain't taking up for her. But can my niece please, whatever we got to do, we'll pay you, whatever. You ain't got to pay me nothing. Tell that bitch I don't want to deal with her at all. Nothing. Don't say nothing to me. Don't, don't nothing. Because... I just then never liked her vibe, right? Never liked her vibe. Never liked her vibe. So now the sisters say, "Well, me and my boyfriend, uh, we live there now for a little time. Being I fell on some hard times or whatever." She said, "Um, my boyfriend just lost his job. You know, we fell on some hard times." She was like, "So you know, we living over there. I I will bring her, or my boyfriend will bring her." to class. I said, I ain't got no problem with that. I love that little girl. I hated kicking her out the class. I said, but her mama attitude on top, on top of her mama would do stuff like this. I could be in mid class having everybody with their homework. Her mama would come over there. Didn't I tell you to wash the dishes? Didn't I tell you to do this? That type of mama, right? So I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't putting up with it. You're not going to disrupt everybody. You get what I'm saying? Because you want some bullshit. Definitely not going to happen. So, I'm like, okay, not a problem. You know what I'm saying? It's all good. She said, um, we'll come by tomorrow. I'll introduce you to my dude. I said, let me know because I got to put his name on my sheets because I want to make sure who coming to get these kids. She said, no, I be watching you and I love what you do. I said, okay, cool. No problem. So, me and her end up being real cool. She liked the fact that I had cooking class, all kind of shit, right? So, it came the day for the little girl to come back. When she came back, y'all, oh, she was crying. She was like, thank you, Miss Pooh. Thank you, Miss Pooh. I love you. I know how my mama is. Like, these kids know. Remind you, I had kids from the ages of 5 to motherfucking 17. Okay? So, yeah, stress. You understand? So, I bring the little girl back. I ain't tripping. The um, old girl, the auntie, bring her boyfriend over there. I'm like, oh, damn, he cute. <laughs> he was cute. I ain't going to lie. Dang, baby was sexy. I was like, damn, and he was thick. Oh, he was an old thick country bunking something. Like, oh, 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 he was fine. I ain't going to lie. I told her, I said, damn, girl. I said, he fine as hell. She said, thank you. I said, yeah, you know I ain't going to say it behind your back. I'm going to tell you in your face. Yeah, he he that, he that guy. <laughs> yeah, I'm talking about. She was like, oh, thank you, Paul. I said, you know, I wouldn't, you know, I ain't trying to disrespect you. I'm just letting you know he fine. She was like, no, 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 I get it all the time. People be, you know, always tell me he handsome and shit like that. So I'm like, okay. I said, well, I'm having cooking class tomorrow. Uh, whoop, whoop. He said, man, I cook. 
I said, you do? He said, yeah. He said, man, I ain't know you be having cooking class with the kids. I said, yeah. He said, you mind if I come over here and show them how to do something? I said, nah. I said, it's cool with you. She said, yeah. She said, he's so helpful. She was like, he's, she said, that's one thing I love about him. He's so sweet. He's so helpful. I'm like, okay. No problem. So anyway, I call a homegirl. I say, bitch, where you at? She said, across the street. I said, bitch, come over here. She said, why? I said, girl, this nigga is shy. She said, I'm on my way. She shashayed her ass over there. Me and her just looking at him, right? She said, damn. I said, damn, bitch. So he was looking at the space or whatever to see what he can bring, like, to do his dishes or whatever. I was like, yeah, you can have this side of the wall or whatever. You know, you can do whatever you want to do right there. He was like, what time they get done with their homework? I said, well, they usually get here around 4. We get done. I was like, mm. I was like, oh, no, tomorrow, the early day, I got to be here at 2. I was like, so they'll probably get here about 2.30. I said, they get here straight from school. He was like, okay. He said, well, I'll be here by 3. You will have them ready. I said, yeah. He said, okay. Homegirl said, bitch, I'm coming. I said, bitch, you's a fool. Why? I'm putting this on too loose. Hold on, y'all. My ponytail, I, I don't even know. I just started doing some bullshit. Don't pay me no attention. Yeah, I'm on bullshit right now. <laughs> so, so, this is the next day, right? He come over there. He finds some motherfucker. I'm like, damn. He come cook for the kids. I'm like, damn. Or whatever. He showed them some little gel shit. Like, this how you make this. This how you make that. Well, whoa, we like, damn, right? Make it a little one. I don't want it to be so high. So, I had mowed at the back, y'all. So, anyway, I tell a homegirl, like, girl, I, I just like looking at him. She was like, I do too. So, we just clowning. We, we not trying to, nobody trying to sleep with him. You know what I'm talking about? Just regular jokes. Regular joke, so he go ahead and leave, clean up, but he left one of his pants. I said, dang, I gotta go over here and take it, because I don't feel like hearing this bitch mouth. So, I go out, knock on the door, but this time when I knock on the door, the sister hella nice, she like, hi, Miss Pooh. I'm like, he, um, tell your brother-in-law he left the pen. She like, oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. He not here yet. I said, oh, okay, well, all right, bye. I leave. I ain't think nothing of it. I ain't think of shit of it. So, the next day, the sister come over there. She said, how was the class? I said, oh, my God, it was so amazing. I said, he was so motherfucking nice and sweet. I said, and the kids just took to him, showing him how to make the little uh, tamale pie and all that. I was like, um, I was like, it was real cool or whatever. She was like, that's what's up. She was like, so what's up with you? What you mean? She like, what's up with you, though? What you mean, what's up with me? What's up? She like, you like girls? <sighs> Baby girl, you must don't know who you're talking to. I'm like, yeah, why, what's up? She said, I was just curious. I said, oh, yeah. She said, yeah. I said, oh, all right. I said, well, curiosity always kills the cat. So be careful for what you're curious about. She said, I ain't never learned. She said, I ain't never, uh, I ain't never been careful, right? I said, oh, yeah. So my homegirl walk in. My homegirl, like, what y'all doing? I'm like, nothing, just talking. She like, mm, why you looking like that, Pooh? I'm like, what I'm looking like? She like, I know that look. She like, oh, you on some greedy shit? I'm like, no, I'm not. I'm like, I'm chilling. Oh, girl say, how you doing? My own girl say, I'm doing fine. How you doing? She was like, oh, okay. She was like, you looking good, too. What the fuck is going on? Oh, baby girl, what is you trying to do? I mean, we with it. <laughs> Let's go at home. She said, we having a function this Friday. Y'all want to come? She said, it's invite only. The homegirl said, yeah, what we dressing like? She said, you can wear what you want. You can come naked if you want to. 
And <laughs> we start laughing. I said, you crazy. I said, well, I'm going to wear me something nice. It's all good. She was like, yeah, wear something nice. I'm like, oh, for sure. We in that thing then. We in there. We go the whole work week. So it's Friday. I'm like, damn, I ain't get the address. You feel me? She didn't give me the address. So I walked over there when I got off work. Remind she came earlier when I first got there and was like, don't forget, you better be there. But I, I guess we both was just thinking we had the address. So I go knock on the door. I knock on the door. Boom, boom, boom. Remind you, my homegirl stayed in that apartment on that side. Because both of the apartments is directly across the street from each other. So I go knock on the door. When I knock on the door, he comes to the door with no shirt on. He like, what's up? I'm like... I almost licked him. He was looking so good. I don't want to just... Bitch, I ain't gonna lie. So, he like, what's up? I'm like, oh, yo girl forgot to give me the address. He was like, oh, yeah. He was like, I got it for you. I'm like, all right. He like, come in. I'm like, nah, I ain't never been in here. He like, like I said, come in. So, I step in right there. He like, I'm about to get you the address. He like, hold on. So he go in the room, boom, he come back out, he writing it down. He like, this where it's at. Now he explaining to me, like, it's right there off Van Ness. We'll see the we'll, we'll stop. I'm like, oh, right there. He like, yeah, we rented out the whole shit just for us. We decorated. Well, we'll be like, it's a private event. I'm like, oh, okay. I said, I asked your girl about the dress code. How crazy ass talking about we can come naked. He said, you can. We can. I said, y'all crazy as fuck. All right. So, as I'm leaving out, though, and I turn, I see somebody. But I can't tell who it is. You get what I'm saying? Because I ain't, you know how somebody, like, peep around the corner and you catch it, but you don't want them to know you caught it, so you just, you know, you play it off and keep on moving. Boom, I go home and get dressed. Go home, shower up, get dressed. Boom, we get to the function about 9.30. When we get there, we walk in, it's completely dark. go through the little curtain and boom there's couches everywhere it's smoke it's cute up in here as soon as i walk in a little bit further me and the homeworld kind of standing there like looking around i see her she walk up she like poo i'm like hey baby she give me a hug and a kiss didn't think nothing of it it's nothing the homegirl she like oh you know, she like, damn, what did Drake say? They like, over there, you got to go outside the door. Everything is closed off in here. I'm like, okay. When we go outside the door, as soon as we get outside the door, baby, all I said. I'm like. Well, thing on that thing then, baby. I'm not mad at you. And then it dying on us. Oh. Oh. Oh, we have one of these type of parties. The homegirl say, oh, shit. So, baby in the corner, she, you hear me? And I'm intrigued because she is going to work. Like, oh, you understand? She going to, she doing her motherfucking doggy on that thing. I'm like, how she do that? How she breathe it? I wanted to know. Sometimes you just need to invest in your skills. We go get a drink. Baby, they not giving out regular drinks. They giving out drinks, drinks. Like, huh, you ain't got to come back for a minute. You want two shots, we going to give you six. Type of, how much liquor you want in the cup? We filling your cup up to the rim. You ain't got to come back here. What you want? Baby, give me here. Give me here. This one, I was off Hennessy. Whole cup. Give me another one. Boom. The homegirl, same thing. She say, bitch, I'm going to do something tonight. I said, I'm trying to build my courage up, too. She say, but I can't see what everybody look like. I said, I know. We go outside. We sit down. It's still kind of dark. We sit there, nigga. All I feel is somebody, nigga. I feel my leg raise up. And I'm like, what the fuck? I feel my shoe come off. Baby, if somebody got my whole motherfucking foot in their mouth, then it's all look up. I look at the whole girl. A nigga got her other foot. 
So he got us broke like this. Now this fine ass bra. She walk up. She like, hi, beautiful. I'm like, hi. She say, do I got permission to please you? Girl, what you talking about? I'll be a fake freak, girl. Wait a minute. What did you, what did you talk about? I look to the right to the home girl again. It's a bitch in between her going to work. I'm like, oh, what are you supposed to do? I can't punk out. I got to punk out. I got to punk out. Something ain't right. Something ain't right. Her boyfriend, her girl boyfriend walk over. He like, come here. Grab me by the hand. He say, she off limits. I am? He say, come here, let me talk to you. He said, I hope you're not offended by this party. This is just how we party. I said, where your girl at? He said, doing her thing. I said, oh, he said, yeah, you know, I'm open. I do what I want. I take care of home. You know, I lost my job. We living with the sister, but I got a plan. All this shit. I said, oh, okay. He said, I hope you weren't tripping off what you saw earlier. I automatically get into character. Oh, I ain't tripping. You know, I mind my business. Everybody do their own thing. He said, yeah, because if she find out, it'll be over. Remind you, I never saw who was right there. But I ain't going to say I didn't because I'm nosy. And y'all know me. I'm going with the flow. He said, but I'm going to take care of you, though. Oh, you is? Baby automatically grabbed me like this and bend the nigga over. Now, I'm linked up on this little bar thing. Baby go down and turn all the way around and go up under, then he...